We're going to look at pop icons, objects from movies, and art museums to make an ECOT woven pattern on Illustrator. Let's go! Have you guys ever seen this pattern? It's called an ECOT. I-K-A-T. It's an Indian woven pattern. We're going to make a version of that using the R2-D2 color palette, and we're going to try and make it a little more contemporary looking. You can see here, this one is a double pattern, meaning that I have the ECOT look on top and underneath it a geometric. And this looks a little more like the standard ECOT. Here's how I made them. You're going to apply a scribble effect to a basic shape. Now my original ones I made from uh, squares like this and I just grabbed them, went to effect, stylize and scribble. And off the bat, you want to have your angle at 90, your path overlap is a, how much they stretch out, and the variation creates more density or less density in the middle and more of that kind of staggered effect on top and bottom. I'd leave the stroke width about where it is, leave the curviness at zero, and the other parts the way they are too. I hit OK. The problem with this motif was that it doesn't really look like that diamond shaped ECOT pattern. And even though it was reminiscent of that, I wasn't really happy with the result over here. It just kind of looked like scribbles. I wanted it to look more like this one. So, what I'm going to do is make diamond shapes and apply the scribble effect to those. Now these patterns here already have the effect on them and you can go back and change your effect as you go. So, if you select your objects, go to window and have appearance open, you'll be able to see that if I click on each diamond there's a scribble effect and I can turn the visibility on and off. So I'll show you what I did with these. I'm going to individually select them in their stacking order so you can kind of see what it looks like. This is how I made my pattern. I selected them and did the standard object pattern make. For this one, I did brick by row, just at the height and width a little bit. For this one over here, I'm going to make a smaller version of it. First thing I'm going to do is select them all, and I'm going to make them smaller. I'm going to select them all, generally speaking, apply the scribble effect. I'm going to up the variation a little bit. Now they still look a little streaky to me. I'm going to select them individually and change their width a bit. At this point, I can also change them individually, so I'm going to pull this one out. I'm going to give it a little more density, uh, lower the variation just a little bit, and also lower the overlap a little bit. I'll put it back over the gray one. Now I think that looks pretty good. Select them both, make the pattern. Hit done. Last part, let's test drive it and customize it. Come up to my swatches and apply that new pattern. I think it looks pretty good, but it's a little bit too much spaced out. So I'm going to go back and customize it. You can just double click on the pattern over here, click on one of the numbers, and compress things a little bit. When you hit done, it'll update in your pattern here. So that's how you customize the pattern as you go. That's how you make an ECOT woven pattern using R2D2 as your inspiration.